Hi everyone, this is Val and I'm back with another quick little video in the junk journaling on a shoestring range. They're all just very quick, very easy little things to do. I hope they give you some inspiration and ideas. This one's this little pocket here and it's just a little uh, square there with um, a V neck kind of thing on it. So you've got the tuck spot behind because of the way I've stuck it down and you've got a little tuck and a little tuck there. How cute is that? Very simple to make too. And I'm using art book pages to do this. So as you know, I keep a stock of these on hand. I occasionally just sit there with my glue stick and my book and just glue heaps and heaps of pages together. So when I want to do it, I've got them ready. So what I need for this one, I need to measure out four inches by four inches. That one was three inch by three inch. I'm going to try four with this one, see how that works. And I would want uh, some nice words to be in the corner, even though when there's a tuck, when there's a pocket, sorry, when there's something in the pocket, you won't see it. So I have already cut myself one to save a bit of time. So that's my four inch by four inch, and I've chosen, I've chosen a poem from um, Elizabeth Barrett Browning. And now I've got to get two more squares at four inch by four inch. Now these don't have to be double paper because they will be doubled over on themselves so there we go so that's got those done now there's a lot of things to do like inking and all that kind of gear but all I want to do right now is show you the basics you'll know about inking and if you want to sew you can sew them uh, so it's really totally up to you I think I like that I like that one of what you actually see in this see my, my square's not too great there is it Oh dear, <clears throat> might not work. Anyway, you will see the uh, the gist of it. So that's all I could promise. I want the rough edges, the brown edges to show. So just make two little triangles. Now, last time I had these were three inch square, and so was the base thing. I may have to trim it now because I've messed up. But you know, if you listen to my videos much, you'll know what I say. There's no thing such thing as a mistake just another opportunity to do something a bit different so there you go just and that's why you didn't need this to be double paper because in effect it is double paper now and you could have a lot of these ready to go as well now if I was sewing I would sew along that that edge where the fold is now I would fold there do that sorry and then so then these just sit on here like this so it's just a fraction wrong. Of course you might like it not meeting flush with the top but that's the object of the exercise in my opinion is to have that flush with the top. So that one goes across like that and that one goes across like that and that would look quite good just just uh, sorry just as um, glued down but of course if you'd sewn those you could now sew right around the outside and perhaps you'd want to make sure the paper matches colour a little bit more. It's um, not the greatest mix, but I didn't want to uh, waste one of my poetry pages on this part of it. So there you go. That's how easily you can make a pocket out of book pages. Thanks for watching. Bye.